welcome to the channel. It's all about the blues harmonica, so uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Um, that's me just blowing over something at the start there. Just getting back to winning ways, getting back to full health, so I just thought I'd uh, uh, blow over something. Uh, you know, if you're a blues player, those kind of chord progressions are fairly straight ahead, no worries. They usually put an augmented chord in. Some people plough straight over the top of it. I don't, but it just gives a slight movement of suspension to go somewhere else. Uh, simplistic thing, and it's not difficult for the blues player to play over those. Um, so it's a bit of fun, I think. Um, today, uh, I want to talk to you about arpeggios. Arpeggio is the individual notes you're playing within a chord. Um, so if you've got a harmonica, if I play, uh, there's your chord. <laughs> Alright, but in the middle, 4, 5, 6 and 7, or down the bottom, or up here, And then uh, what you heard me just play there was arpeggios, uh, but I was just playing the one, the three and the five of the chord. Now don't get them mixed up with the harmonica, that means if you're in first position, four, five and six blow for example. Then going to G, alright, just different keys, alright. You don't have to do that, I just used all, I played in all twelve there. But the idea is you're aiming to get, you're aiming to try and hear the third and the fifth interval. Now, on the basic chord, let's just keep it in first position so it's easy for everybody. Um, there's your third. The four blow to the five blow. But listen to four blow to six blow. Sorry, four, four to five blow. So excuse me, six blow. post isn't it but listen so that that interval there that's your fifth interval here's your third now we've already covered the fourth interval on my last video but notice if I play the 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 whole uh, arpeggiated chord the last two at the top is your fourth, going up. There's Here Comes the Bride. There's a fifth. Right, what's this one? There's your third. That's your third again. That's the top of the chord. There's the fifth. See how I swap them around? So you can uh, start ear training yourself on those intervals. The idea is then you can apply it to, uh, to hear anything. So just working on the fourth interval, the third interval, and the fifth interval. I think I mentioned on the last video the flat and thirds are very, uh, the one in blues, that they're, they're sort of. fairly easy interval to hear uh, but we'll cover that another time but for now so you got there's your third all right that's your next stage of ear training you get me for lessons on half of the heel of wicks if you want a, a full sort of Skype lesson on this kind of thing um, and the secret that one of the tips I can give you uh, really is that don't wear too many hats, you know? I wear nothing but hats, but I tend to keep to one or occasionally a couple of styles. And within that uh, style, I want to be as creative as I can. And I think that's what you have to do. The martial artist, what do we do as a martial artist? We learn one discipline before you move to another. So, you know, um, 
that's the kind of thing that uh, I've always done um, because you've got to comprehensively get things down if you don't push into one discipline if you try too many hats it's always a bit of this and a bit of that you're not making a commitment um, and that's a test of character for you to make that commitment once you've made the commitment life's a lot easier isn't it so that's a that's a tip I can give you so have some fun with those intervals you can get me for lessons as I said on Harp over the heel of wicks um, get stuck into the blues harp uh, you know for mind and body it's uh, all good stuff isn't it I'll catch you on the rebound